Early mornings are one of my favorite times of the day. I start off the day with getting our diffuser going. I use Young Living oils. Depends on the day with what I use. Um, today was probably something like Thebes to help just smell good and rid of germs. Um, but yes, I love diffusing all throughout the day. And then we were able to sit down as a family and read our Bibles. We do this every morning and it's so nice just to um, spend time in God's Word. And little Nevea is playing on the floor, of course. And it's nice when she lets us get uh, the full amount of time of reading in as well. But yeah, that's how our morning typically starts. And then of course, the next big thing you have to have is coffee. And I always have French press, that's what we have. We don't have a coffee pot anymore. And I make sure my water is nice and hot, not boiling, and then just fill it up about an inch from the top, let it sit for a couple minutes, stir it, and press it down. That's one of our favorite ways to make some good coffee. Then I always have some warm water with apple cider vinegar in it. This is like my fourth year that I have done that. Every morning I always have that. It's good for your gut health and just good for digestion, everything else like that. So um, yeah, our morning routine is pretty much always the same and it's just so nice to have such a routine, especially during this time. Uh, I do want to add that this is a collab with Miranda Christine. We are doing Day in the Lives together, so go check out her channel. You will love her videos. She is such a sweet lady with a great character and demeanor, so definitely go check her out. So anyways, time for my cup of coffee, and I normally just have half a cup to begin with. This morning, I was able to get some work done before I started breakfast when the video played on the floor. Um, it doesn't happen like this every day, but I needed to get some schoolwork going and spend a little time with her while she um, tries to crawl and stand up on me. She's not quite walking on her own, but she loves to stand up and be where we are. So it is nice to get some work done right away in the morning that way I can do other things throughout the day and spend time with our little girl and my husband who works from home as well. So I'm just getting some work done on my laptop and I really need to invest in a desk because sitting on the couch now that I'm teaching from home has not been good on my back. following me for a while you also know eggs are a staple in our house and they happen every single morning for our breakfast. Breakfast is a meal we always have together, and this morning we had some sourdough pancakes as well. Um, I guess my husband thought I was giving him too many with putting six on his plate, so we were having a little laugh about that. But anyways, Nevaeh for some reason does not seem to like bread, but we're still working on it with her. It is about 8.30 and we had quite an early start to our morning. Nevea decided to wake up about half hour early, so at 5.30. We normally get up at 6, but we were able to accomplish quite a bit. We got our Bible reading in. I got some work done on my laptop. Um, I had to do some schoolwork and get some papers and such graded. So I am a music teacher, if you didn't know, and I have to do a lot more paper slash Google Classroom work and of course singing because we're not in the classroom at this time. 
So um, I did resign though, if you didn't know. So kind of a strange way to end my teaching career for um, music, which is, which is just really odd, kind of heartbroken about that. But anyways, um, I have some breakfast dishes to clean up and continue working on. And it is a special day because it is Nevaeh's birthday today. So I do have quite a bit going on actually for being quarantined, you know. There's more going on today than a typical day. I have a Zoom class here at 10.30 this morning. And then we're having a Zoom party for her this afternoon with some family. And I'll have to frost her cake and get that finished up, decorate a little bit. I'll probably do that during one of her nap times. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty full day and I'm excited because it is a special day. So I'm glad you're here to join me on this wonderful um, spring day, even though we have a chance of snow again today. But I hope you enjoy this day in life. So let's get cleaning and see what the day brings. Aren't dishes just a thing that are a continual daily process? Anyways, um, I thought I would clean up a little bit, get Nevaeh's tray all ready for her next time she eats, which seems to come quicker than later. But yep, I'm just gonna do a little cleaning, tidying of the kitchen after breakfast. Um, we do have a dishwasher, but it's just enjoyable for me to do dishes. I find it rather relaxing, honestly. So half the stuff anyways that I wash this time can't fit in the dishwasher. But I love getting the kitchen reset after breakfast because we don't really use it again until lunchtime. So it's nice to just have a clean and tidy kitchen. And then again, I'll do it later in the evening. But for now, it's just nice to have it wiped down, clean up a little bit, and um, get things reset for the next meal. All right, my second cup of coffee time. I typically have half a cup right away in the morning after I make my French press. And then I top it off a little bit more, have a little half and half in there. I used to not drink half and half, but it's, it's nice to have a little treat in there. Okay, I normally put my half and half first, so I can't even see it. <laughs> and sometimes, I don't know if any of you do this, I put whip topping on top or the spray nozzle whip topping. Mm, that's so good. A nice extra little sweetness on top because I don't put sugar in my coffee. So try it if you haven't. I know this is like eating plastic, what some people say, but it is good. It's a nice little treat. So I had this little banner at school and when I went earlier this week to put some packets together like we have to do, I picked it up and just wrote first birthday on it. I think I've had this from Dollar Tree for a couple years. I did not go buy anything to decorate and I thought uh, with her chair being right here when she's eating her cake for Zoom, they can see the sign too. So. I just wrote on that and I think it's cute little pop of color so that's probably about all I'm gonna do I really don't think I'm gonna do too much oh I guess you're probably wondering what this is this is my makeshift 
plant holder, our little three-tiered tray. I thought I was gonna be decluttering that, but it worked to hold my plants. And I am struggling. Um, I did have them covered, but I had too much moisture, and you can see they're molding. So my cucumbers are kind of losing their life there. But pumpkins are looking pretty good. Some of my peas are looking okay, but um, yeah, this is my first time doing starter seeds inside, and it's so-so. Like, I love gardening, but I've never started seeds, so this is new for me, and not doing so great on this. But this door is to the north, so it doesn't get as much sunlight as I would like, so um, we'll see if any more come up, otherwise I might put a few more in, um, but I'll actually be planting our garden probably within a couple of weeks anyways. All right, I wanted to come to the garage to show you what my husband does. <laughs> Some of you are probably new. So he sells on Amazon. Well, currently he ships out himself right now, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately due to uh, everything that's going on. So what are you working on right now? I am packaging Tickets for rides for customers. Okay, perfect. Okay. So, yeah, the real game. That's a fun game. And he's got four pallets of books and board games, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, oh, my Christmas decor fell open up there. Uh, that happened when I threw it up there. Oh, so. that's the thing, it's not breakable. You see that? I didn't, I didn't think it was breakable, so it's I was not. Right oh, thank you. I'll have to fix that at some point. Yes, please. But yeah, four pallets, and I haven't parked in the garage now probably for two months, right? Yeah. It goes on like for a week I get to park, and then yeah. then it changes instantly. So. My wife loves me a lot. <laughs> I do. Anyways, I wanted to show you that since I came outside to throw some recycling away. All right, have fun, honey. Yep, love you. Oh, love you too. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. We had a successful Zoom class. It was my sixth grade music kids. Gotta love them. They're fun and it's enjoyable to see them in class. And Nevea had a nap of like an hour and a half for sure, which is wonderful because yesterday she only took two half hour naps. So she was, I think her teeth or gums were hurting because she was teething. But um, so now I'm working on some banana cookies. So this is a go-to, especially because they're healthy and Nevea loves them and I love them. So yeah, I'm gonna throw the banana cookies in. It is like 11, a little after 11. It's been a very productive morning. It's been wonderful. Gotta love having um, a little girl, if you're a mom, uh, who takes naps when they don't. It makes the day a little more rough, especially on her birthday. I want it to be an enjoyable day for her. Uh, Missy, are you playing? Are you smiling for the camera? <gasps> You're gonna come. <laughs> Is today your birthday? <laughs> you like it up close and personal. Is today your birthday? Yeah, you don't even know. <laughs> Grilled cheese it is today. We're gonna see how Nevaeh likes that. Never fed it to her yet. Um, we have some whole grain, 12 grain bread. Blaze loves grilled cheese and tomato soup, so that is what I am making for him. someone coming to pick up our nesting tables. I got a new table, side table in our living room, and we found these ones um, in a box going to the dump. So these are from World Market, and I'm selling them on Facebook Marketplace. Someone's coming to pick them up from our porch here, and then they'll drop off the money. 
and hopefully there is no contact whatsoever. So I am so glad to get these out of the house. There's another little one under that one there. And so we got this side table. So super nice to have a more styled table of our sort that we like. And so nice to get rid of those. There they go. Yay. Well, lunch is all cleaned up. I had a cookie fail. I forgot about my banana cookies in the oven for like 20 minutes instead of 10. So I had to soak my pan a little bit. They got really stuck. They're still decent. I just put some peanut butter on them because they taste delicious that way. So they're still gonna be okay. I'll stick them in the fridge and snack on them. Um, they might be a little too crunchy for Nevea now, but um, yeah, you probably noticed my plants too are a little bit, um, well, they're out of their season now. So I will plant these once um, they're done here and they'll be reblooming every year and I have tulips on my table. I love having fresh plants in the house and I haven't been getting fresh cut plants from Walmart or Aldi like I usually do because we're not going out and about near as much. So these tulips are way past their prime, but I also have this plant. I need a plant in um, one of my pots and maybe put in a hanging basket somewhere as well. What are we gonna build? Ready? Mom, build. Build, build, build. Build. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? goes. You get a block. Alright, so I'm going to be making Nevaeh's frosting and I chilled the bowl in a fr the freezer for, oh, 15 minutes and I'm just using heavy whipping cream because I did not make normal cake. I made a date carrot cake for her and have not given her much sugar. Um, to each his own if they want to give their kids sugar or not. I'm okay not um, Keep her away from sugar as long as possible because I know I love it and So it's kind of something we get addicted to If we eat it quite a bit, so I'm going to mix this up and use it for her frosting and probably add a little food coloring to I want to get a little bit of fresh air today as I normally go for a walk even when it's like it was 30 the other day I went with Nevea and took her for a walk um, but since it's her birthday party around our normal walk time I just wanted to get a little fresh air check out my plants that are popping up it is only 40 today and I don't know if it's gonna snow or not um, hopefully not it's bright enough out but I wanted to show you so my little plants coming up. There's some weeds too, of course. Um, but this is some good ground coverage. All these plants that I have, yeah, that's a, it'll, it'll hopefully come up. It's a mum that I planted after they were done in my pots. But most of my plants here are from friends and family. So that's what I try to do. And these are beautiful when they bloom. There's some sort of daylily, I think. Some grasses. And then Maggie always stands here to peep out the little hole at kids riding their bikes out there. In our not so glorious backyard, it is what it is. We have a dog, so these dead spots for some reason keep happening. Um, my husband has his aquaponics there. There's little Maggie. Um, and that was my garden in that brown spot back there. But these trees make it so difficult to get sunlight. We trim them up to the previous owners planted like nine fast growing willow trees and those two evergreen slash pine trees. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna do a garden there or not. I'll show you where I have my other garden. So we do have about three acres of property and here's my other garden. Um, we have the property next to us where we have a shed and this is our little fixer upper. If you haven't checked out those um, that playlist, I'll put it in the description box, our little fixer upper house. We're gonna make an Airbnb. But for this garden, I think I wanna just do all sweet corn or all squashes. 
Uh, I always get squash bugs in here, so I might just do sweet corn. But then since I have this whole big area and no trees or anything blocking the sunlight, I might just literally make it like all the way over to the shed over there. Just let me know what you think. I love gardening and I know I have a little one and she'll have to come out with me. But I think this is definitely the, a good year to be having a garden and have our own produce. And I want to do more canning too. All right, here are her cupcakes. They look a little bit more like muffins, but that's okay. They um, taste really good, and I think, hope, Nevaeh will like it. All right, I got the whipped cream. I'm going to drop a little bit of food coloring in it, I think. And then we've had these sitting around. My husband was going to sell them and didn't. So I'm going to use the one, drop some food coloring in there, <laughs> and maybe put some little stars on top. Well, you can sing if you think you can time it right. Alright, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. great birthday party it has been a while since i have filmed and talked to you guys it is now oh we normally have a clock on that wall um oh by the way we did diy this shiplap wall and my video went up on thursday last thursday so check that out in the description box if you haven't seen that but anyway you normally have a clock so it's like 7 7 15 i think so um yeah it's been a while since her party and it was interesting to see how she responded to eating the cake. It was, like I said, a more healthier option of a cake. And she all day had been spitting the breads and things out that we had been giving her, even carrots, and she loves carrots. So I think her teeth were giving her a little fit. So that's probably part of it. We'll try tomorrow with the extra little cupcakes we have. I would say they're more of a texture, if you're wondering, of a muffin. So they'd be a really healthy option for a muffin, honestly. But anyways, um, we had fun just having everyone on Zoom and the family really enjoyed it. They told us that and just said it was so nice to be able to celebrate her first birthday. I also want to remind you to go check out Miranda's channel if you have not yet. And um, you will definitely love her channel if you like mine. And if you're coming over from her channel, I'm so glad you stopped by. And I hope you stay by hitting that subscribe button. I do day in the life videos. I do um, thrifted, simple living, homemaking, and motherhood videos. And I'd love to have you join my YouTube community here. So anyways, I hope you all are staying well, staying healthy, enjoying the time you have with your family, even though it may be challenging. But I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful spring day. I will talk with you in my next video. All right, bye guys.